up being another long day, seven hour lecture again. I don't know, for some reason I thought that these lectures were gonna be helpful. And yet, we're not really doing much other than discussing task taking techniques and strategies that we already pretty much know. I thought we were actually gonna legitimately have kind of like a review session going through like chapters and stuff like that and discussing different content, but the questions are all random and we're just going through how to deconstruct a question to get the right answer, if that makes sense. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I also know that my other classmates are also feeling the same way because some of them texted me during our session yesterday and they were like, I am not paying attention anymore, <laughs> which is horrible, but no when you sit there for such a long time, even with the few breaks we get in between, it's still kind of like, I don't know, difficult to pay attention. Just went to make myself some tea and let my dog out of the house so she can go to the bathroom. I was eating quite a bit of dairy over the past few weeks and consequences are starting to manifest themselves on my face. <laughs> Anyways. Head back into my room and then get set up for the Zoom. Which client am I monitoring? For a client with hemophilia. Hemophilia. If I want to take self care, cause the same condition to my system, my team is monitoring. Looking for a client with sickle cell anemia. Teaching self care, how to avoid or prevent crises from occurring. Uh, and what are the causes? Oftentimes they're stress related and infection related. When a client has specific symptoms, it's telling you what side of the heart is affected. So when we're looking at these symptoms, these would be indicative of right heart failure. A client that has JED, uh, elevated central venous pressure, edema, ascites, weight gain. All of those things are indicative of right heart failure. Post-op hypovolemia. Signs and symptoms, tachycardia. When you don't have enough fluid in your body, your body's immediate response is to beat your heart faster and harder so that it can distribute whatever fluid is left. And then a late sign right, of hypovolemia you know would be... Correct. The right answer here is number four, Great. tachycardia. That it's now 11.50. We're gonna have lunch in about 10 minutes and I'm really excited because I'm so tired of sitting here. Um, I also have to pee. It's lunch time, baby. I am actually going to go to the bathroom and I have been wearing these really cute hoops for quite a long time now. And I kind of want to switch them out back to my studs to give my ears a break and you know change it up oh my gosh my hair was looking whack this whole time oops i've had them on for like two and a half months <laughs> and i would really like to change them up so i'm gonna put my studs on we're back we are oh, filling out slides. this med sheet okay so let's go ahead and get back to our slides so we blank, finished burn, we talked about liver, we talked about activity. blood, we talked about cardiac about Anyways, type of traction. What are the two most common types of traction? The two most common types are skin traction and uh, skeletal traction. Nursing interventions for a client in traction, we need to remember rice, rest, ice, compression, and elevate. What are the six P's for a client with musculoskeletal injury? We want to remember the six P's. Pain, paresthesia, pallor, pressure, paralysis, and pulselessness survived another seven hour day so exciting um it's about five o'clock right now i finished class about an hour ago and i was falling asleep for like the last hour i literally fell asleep in my chair and i woke up and i missed one of the poll questions where we were supposed to respond to the ati questions that were given and i totally fell asleep through an entire question i woke up and she closed the poll and i was like oh guess we missed one but um now we're done i just have some errands to run one because i recently filled out my nclex application which is crazy but in order to take your nclex you need to get your live scan done so i've already paid for the nclex application and i've already paid for my um pearson view location payment 
so much money out the door. <laughs> but now I have to get my life scan done. I have all the paperwork ready and I'm just gonna go and get my fingerprints into the system. And then after that, we're going grocery shopping because my dog's birthday is this coming Saturday. I'm gonna make her a pup cake and I need some ingredients that we don't have at home anymore, including peanut butter. So that's the agenda for today. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I need oat milk. So I need oat milk, peanut butter, applesauce. Can you look it up on the phone for like the ingredients of a cupcake? Here we are. I'm just gonna get two because I run out of this stuff so quickly. Cookies are a sophomore. Barista blend. Oh, no. Like, I usually like getting Oatly brand, but right now we're here and they don't have Oatly, so. It says I need, I need Greek yogurt. So I'm in the pro yogurt section and I don't know which, how much Greek yogurt I need. So give me a second to figure that out. Oh, honey. I need honey. Oh, this is stressful. <laughs> Happy birthday. Yeah.